Good morning, today we are going to talk about shooting method. So what is shooting method? We are going to apply this formula, Z0. You can notify that there are few parameters we need to pay attention. G1, G2, R2, R1 and also D. First of all, what is D? D is the desired value. And R2 is the final result from second guess, while R1 is the final answer from first guess. While G1, G2 is the first guess, we will name it as G1, while G2 we will denote it as G2 for second guess. So now let's look to the equation. Y prime prime x plus 3xy equals to 0. So what is y prime prime x? Generally it is d square y over dx squared. Okay, so in shooting method, we are going to apply Euler method to proceed with shooting method. So from this, so from this 10 series, we are going to determine x1, x2, x3, x4, y1, y2, y3, and also y4. This is our desired value, d. So in shooting method, we require two guesses. So for my first guess, z1, I will use negative 2 for my first guess. Okay, so now let's proceed for x1. So x1 is 0. Point, is 0 plus h. h is 0. 0.25. We will get 0. 0.25. For y1, we will use function f1 and function f2. What is function f1, function f2? Function f1 is z. Z is also divided by dx. So for function f2, we will differentiate z. While differentiating z, don't forget to differentiate dy by dx. So we will get second derivative. And then f2. So we just move 3xy. So we get negative 3xy is f2. So we just apply. y1, we use the initial 1.1 plus 0 0.25 and then f1 is z, z is negative 2. So you get 0 0.6. For z1, you use negative 2 plus 0 0.25. But right now the function is f2. f2 is second deal, derivative, negative 3xy. Negative 3 multiplied with 0 multiplied with 1.1. You get negative 2. So repeat the same procedure. Y2, repeat the same process. So if you want your answer to look systematic, you may tablet in a table. This is X, this is Y, this is Z. And you may list down first, second, third, and so on. And then this is your answer. 0 0.25, then this is 0 0.5, and so on. And then you table it in a table. If you want to present it systematically. So now this is our. We want to highlight this value. Because this is our R1 value. This is our R1 value. So we write here. R1 equals to negative 0.9656. So now we repeat the same procedure. Here yeah, but right now is second guess. Guess I use negative 0 0.5. You may use any value you like. But uh, don't over, don't use it over. If like the value is 1.1, 1.0, or 0 0.5, so you may uh, estimate the value maybe roughly is between negative 2 to 2, the guess value to be used. So you may roughly estimate. So as usual, you will proceed with x1. 0 0.25 y1 
1.1 plus 0.25 the value of z function 1 negative 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 negative 3x1 so you get that the same answer negative 0 0.5 for z1 so again we repeat the same procedure for x2 y2 z3 no z2 y x3 y3 z3 Now, again, for second guess, we need to highlight the last value, that is y4. We need to highlight, because this will be our r2, the final answer from the second guess. So we write it down, r2. Okay, now we have all these values. So now we erase it and substitute all the required value into the general formula. Now let's apply the general formula. Plus G2 second guess minus first guess divided by R2 minus R1 minus minus plus. Okay, now what is D? D, just like as I mentioned, D is the desired value. We want to obtain 0 0.5 when x4 is equal to 1. R1, negative, negative, positive. So, press your calculator correctly. I will use 4 decimal places in order to obtain accurate answer. So now, my guess will be negative 0 0.4436. Use is negative 2, second guess, negative 0 0.5. So you can see it is within the range, it lies within the range. So this is our z from the general formula obtained. Now, repeat again the same procedure x1, 0 0.25, y1, 1.1 plus 0 0.25, function of f1. Is z Again, you repeat again the same procedure until x4. So x2, y2, z2, x3, y3, and then z3. Last but not least, I will substitute one by one to see whether we will get this answer in an approximate form 0 0.5. So now x4 1.0 okay. y4 0 0.7258 0 0.7258 plus with h and function of one. 0 0.9498 Okay, let's see. Zero point four eight eight four. So when you round off, it is approximate to zero point five. So now, don't forget your last value, Z4. Three X Y. So this is our final answer. We obtain what we want according to shooting method. Zero point five. 
shooting method is not an exact, we won't obtain exact solution. We just obtain approximate answer. We can't obtain exact value. So now, I will write y 1.0 approximate to 0 0.4884. This is my final answer. <clears throat>